Okay, what's up guys? Um, this is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. For continuation of our discussion in Navisworks uh, class detection. So in this topic, our objective is to learn how to create reports by creating a viewpoints. Okay, so that is what we are, are going to do. So we're going to group our clashes into a report we will be saving the viewpoints that has the clashes okay because not everybody involved in the project has just uh or or witness to perform this clash detection or if they did they're going to need some uh documentation or some uh diagnosis as to where the clashes exist okay so that's why in this video uh, I'm going to guide you to the process of creating a clash report that result in the creation of uh, viewpoints, okay? So these viewpoints can be looked at individually, okay? And uh, they can also be reviewed and marked up as well, okay? So to get started, so going back to my home here, I'm going to activate the clash detective. Now... I'm going to create a clash test. So again, this is my mechanical uh, versus sprinkler. Oh, sprinkler. Okay, and then again, I will be using the type clearance. The tolerance is zero. For the select here, I'm going to make sure that the mechanical is selected. On the selection B, I'm going to make sure the sprinkler is select, uh, selected. And then I'm going to run the test. Alright? So, just like previous exercise, now you can see that we have here uh, clashes, right? So, we have 35 clashes. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to group, let's say, for example, um, from uh, 30 from 30 to 35 okay I'm going to group these guys so as you can see it's highlighted here in our model right let me just show you okay right as you can see this clash 30 to 35 is highlighted in our project let me just uh, change first the background so let me go to view I change the background here uh, I just change it to white. All right. Okay. So as you can see, the this group thirty up to thirty five clashes is highlighted. So I'm going to group that. So let's say I'm going to call this group as uh, a sprinkler. This is for the sprinkler team. Okay. Let's say I call this. Screen, uh, sprinkler team A, and let's say from 20 to 29, okay? So I'm going to group this. Let's say I'm going to assign this to a sprinkler uh, team B. Oops, team B, okay? Right, then enter. Okay, so as you can see, I created Sprinkler Team A group, Sprinkler Team B group, all right? So they have their own group. So what I want to do now is I'm going to select now the Report tab, okay? So I select the Report tab, and as you can see, these are the contents that you can use to generate the report. So these are the contents that will be... Uh, uh, contains to your report okay you can check or uncheck okay and aside from that from the output settings so as you can see we have here the report type so we have the current test uh, all tests combined and all tests uh, separate all tests combined will put it in one folder okay all tests separate will break it out into multiple folders so when I have more than one clash defined, I like to do all the tests separate, okay? But in this exercise, I'm just going to select here a uh, current test, 
Okay, so let's move on. So our, aside from the report type, we also have here the report format. So if you click the drop down arrow here, as you can see, you have different uh, options here to generate your report. Now in this exercise, I'm just going to create a report by creating here a viewpoints. So we are going to save the viewpoints, okay, to generate the report. Okay, and also I'm just going to check here preserve uh, clash highlighting. So it includes color and visibility changes. Okay, so I'm going to check this one. Now, another option here or another category is uh, include clashes. Okay, so you have here uh, group headers only. Uh, individual clashes only or everything okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select here the group okay so for clash groups we can group uh, headers by headers individual clashes or everything okay individual clashes or everything okay so I'm going to select here the group headers only okay now, include this sta uh, statuses, so I'm just going to select all of this, okay? I'm going to select all of this. So after that, the next thing that you can do is, you just need to select here, write report. So once you select this, okay, it will generate now the report. And then you will notice automatically it will... Uh, open the saved viewpoints uh, window and then you can now see here the clash test that you just created so if I'm going to expand this you will notice I now have here my clashes uh, 1 to 19 okay right and also the two groups that you have created because we selected this one right group headers only so it includes the group here so if i'm going to expand this expand this one so you will notice you have the overview of the team a and team b so if i'm going to click this one so it will highlight like this see right so it highlights your uh, sprinkler team a clashes okay again to navigate this you can use your your tool here you can use the walk tool so you can walk okay and then you can pan your drawing there you go right and then from there you can test so as you can see it's now here on our save viewpoint so same with your uh, team B this is your team A okay and then you also have here the reset appearance Okay, so in case it messes up your background, so you can click here, the reset appearance. Okay, you just click that one. Of course, you can click the clashes here, okay, one by one, right? Okay, you can select. Again, you can use the orbit tool to check out your clash from here. Okay, which is pretty impressive, right? Especially if you're having a, a beam meeting, okay? This kind of report is uh, fantastic, okay? It will show you the clashes that you needed, okay? All right. So also, I may take this opportunity to again mention that having a lot of viewpoints will actually slow down your model. So certainly, this is an awesome way to go through your model clash by clash, but... There's always another way to create a clash report that others can see, which is what we are going to do on our next exercise, okay? So in this exercise, what we have learned is we have created a report by saving a viewpoints, okay? And these are the reports, okay? Now, in our next exercise, I'm going to teach you how to create reports by uh, generating an HTML file, all right? Okay, hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. Again, if you have any comments, uh, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, so don't forget to like my videos and subscribe, uh, subscribe to my channel. 
Okay, so once again, this is Rich. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.